Welcome to FIUsports.com. Brian Duvall along with your FIU swimming and diving head coach, Randy Horner. And, Coach, you've got a very important meet coming up this weekend. Uh, Rice, FAU, Miami come to BBC. Yes. Uh, talk a little bit about this meet uh, coming up this weekend. It's, uh, it's going to be a great weekend just to race and compete and get up and see what we can do. Um, it's a different format this year. We actually named it a Duel of Palooza. It's kind of a dual meet festival over the weekend. It's uh, three meets in 24 hours, which is very rare. So we'll get up and race at uh, 4 o'clock on, uh, on Friday against Rice. Then we'll get up on Saturday morning at 10 a.m. and race against FAU. And then we finish off with Miami at 3 o'clock on Saturday. So each of the other teams will be dueling against the other two teams as well. So you pretty much have a round robin over the two-day period. Um, Events are a little bit unorthodox. We're swimming a lot of different events that we don't always compete in. The divers are doing one meter, three meter, and platform, which is a chance for them to do that, which a lot of times during the season, you know, they don't get a chance to do. So it's going to be, a, you know, again, a little bit of different format. Uh, get the kids out of their comfort zone and, and compete against some great teams. How unorthodox is is the format when com compared to kind of like a, a normal meet or anything? Um, it's it's pretty out there. It's uh, you know less individual events. Um, there's events, for example, such as the hundred medley relay, which each swimmer swims a twenty five. That is not a sanctioned NCAA event that you would ever see in a normal format. Uh, there's a hundred IM in the format. There's fifties of the strokes in different formats. So uh, between the three meets, you do a lot of the different events. Some of them you'll do twice, but uh, it just really uh, you know gives the kids a chance to race so they're not in the same traditional format that they see all season long in tra traditional duels. What kind of measuring sticker uh, is this meet going into it and hopefully obviously the results uh, coming out of it for you? Yeah the measuring stick is just to see us get up and compete you know uh, be fierce be competitors you know see what we have and uh, anytime you can race against good competition no matter what the events are it's racing experience and something we'll take out of it and then lead into the rest of the season. Coach, from a strength and conditioning standpoint, does this obviously really kind of push the limit? This meet will push the limits of the team and see, obviously, uh, what they're capable of in, in this 24-hour period. Yeah, I mean, uh, conditioning will play a major role. You know, by the third meet on uh, on Saturday, you know, we're going to be, you know, running on fumes a little bit. We'll be a little bit of a, you know, guts and integrity and resolve of, you know, who wants to get up and race because no one will be feel good. No one will feel good at that point. Um, it's something that we don't normally get to do. There are some events in there that we don't normally get to do. Um, shorter ones, different relays, which relays are a lot of fun for us because you get to work with your team uh, to win. And so I think, yeah, a lot of the girls are really excited our team I think the other teams will be as well